Yeah, well, it, here's what happened. I was uh, drafted in 78, and then um, uh, the Bruins were playing the Canadians in the playoffs in um, 78, 79. They were going for their fourth Stanley Cup in a row. And I went to practice in Boston. I was playing at Northeastern at the time, and I w- went with a friend of mine, uh, and we went and watched the practice. So my buddy's there at the time, and he says, hey, why don't you ask them – Go and ask somebody from the team, tell me you're drafted by the Canadians and you want to go to the next game up in Montreal. Well, great. See if they'll leave your ticket. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So I walked up this short little fat guy was standing outside the locker room. It was Claude Rorel, who ended up being one of my favorite coaches. Uh, he was a developmental coach. And he really, really helped me. Actually, he's the guy who got me called up. But I went up to Claude and I said, Hey, um, you know, I got drafted by you guys. Um, I'd love to go to the next game in Montreal. Could you get me tickets? He said, wow, I don't take care of that stuff. Uh, go see that guy over there. So the guy I went to see was a traveling road secretary. His name was um, Howard Grumman. His father was the general manager. So I went up to Howard. I said, gee, you know, I, I just talked to uh, coach Rowe and he said to come to you. I was drafted by you guys. And, I'd love to get a couple of tickets next uh, game up there when the Bruins are back in Montreal. He said, sure. He said, but who are you? I said, well, I was drafted by you guys last year in the 78 draft. He said, really? What's your name? And I said, Chris Nyland. And he goes into the, uh, he actually went into the Canadians got book and he flipped through the pages and he looked and he got to my name and he saw me. Okay. Yeah. You were drafted by us. Sure. I'll, I'll leave you tickets next game. So, <laughs> After the practice, Franny and I go outside. We jump in the car. We're going to leave. And um, there's Guy Lafleur, Gilles Lupien, and Jacques Lemaire standing in the street corner. They're looking for a cab, right? And we're like, Franny sees me. He said, let's go pick him up. We'll give him a ride to the hotel. And they yeah, let's go. We pull up in this 78 T-Bird, right? Like real pimp mobile. It was hilarious. Franny had it. looked like a gangster. It was, it was so funny. We pull up, and Franny goes, hey, Guy you guys want to ride to the hotel? And they kind of looking at us, right? Flowers smoking a cigarette. They all got Stanley Cup rings on. So they're with Lupien and, and Jill could fight, right? He was a tough guy. And they, they jump in the car, they get in the back seat, and we're driving. And we're on the way to the hotel. So Franny's saying, yeah, geez, good luck, you guys. You're playing well, blah, blah, blah. And I turn around. I said, yeah. I said, I'm going to be playing with you guys next year up there. And like LeMaire looking at me. Yeah, you're going to be playing with us? How are you going to do that? And I said, well, I got drafted by you guys this year. And he said, really? You got drafted by us? He said, where do you play now? I said, Northeastern. And he goes, what round did we draft you in? I said, the 17th. I was all proud, right? The three of them started cracking up. I didn't know what they were laughing at. I was just happy to be drafted, right? I didn't know nothing about first, second, third. I didn't care, right? And they're kind of all laughing. <clears throat> anyway, we dropped them off. And then Franny and I drive up to Montreal to see the Bruins-Montreal game. We get to the window. I'm all excited. They left me tickets, right? I get to the window. I go, hey, tickets for Chris Nile. And they said, sure. That'll be $375. I'm like, okay. Uh, I'm like, I, I, I didn't have that on me. Franny, thank God, had his credit card. I was still in college. I didn't. You know, I was working as a bouncer, making short money. I didn't have a lot of dollars. Franny put on his credit card. Anyway. It was a hot credit card, too, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we went and watched the game. And next year, I end up in training camp. Yeah, I mean, boom. Uh, I'm in the first, you know, it was back then we had like four teams in camp and you play against each other. And I'm on LaFleur's team. And he's standing, he's staring at me and he's staring at me in the room and looking over. And I'm like, oh, man, Flowers looking at me. What the hell? And he's looking and he looking and he goes, hey. How about Knack? He said, it's you. You're the, you're the kid from Boston. I said, yeah, I told you I was going to be here, right? He said, yeah, you did. You're here. So, boom. Then we're out on the ice, and we end up playing together. <clears throat> and I'm out on the ice. I'm lining up in a face-off, and there's big Jules Lupian looking at me. And I never had a fight on the ice, really, once in college. And Lupian's looking at me, and I had been running around the ice. I thought he was wanting to fight me. He's looking at me. He's looking at me at the face-off. He goes, how about Knack? It's you. You, the kid from Boston. You said you were going to be here. I said, I told you I was going to be here. Right? And sure enough, that year, LeMaire had gone to Switzerland. He retired my first year. He went off to Switzerland. At the end of the season, 
he came back and their season was shorter, right? So we used to go across the street from the Montreal farm, went to lunch every day. And um, we were sitting there, Larry Robinson, Bob Gainer were all there. And LeMaire had come, all, come, come in to see all the guys he played with, right? So LeMaire's sitting there with Larry and I get, he leans over Larry. He says, hey, where's that kid, uh, the new kid, Nyland, the one who's fighting everybody? And he said, oh, he's right here. And Larry said, hey, Chris, me, Jock. And Jock looks at me and goes, how about Max? You're the kid from Boston. I said, yeah, <laughs> I told you I was going to be here. It was so funny how it worked out. The three of them, they all said the same thing. You're the kid from Boston.